And welcome to Ozarks Live. Thank you for joining us. And once again, Cammie is my co-host today. I'm back. Good to see you again. Thanks, Tom. Did you anything big and eventful happen since I saw you last? Yes, I found you something. What? I found you a leaf. Okay, a couple weeks ago when I was on the show, you said that you weren't getting into the pumpkin spice yeah. until you found, until you saw a leaf that had changed color, which signified fall. This, and, and so here's it your almost leaf. looks brown, but there is no, red no, no. in this and everything. It is, it is red. It is yeah. bright red. So, you know what that means? Uh, yeah. You know what you promised I've, me? I've, I, yes, I remember. I've got to do pumpkin spice. All right, so here's your present, Tom. I oh, that's what this a is. A pumpkin okay. spice latte. A pumpkin spice latte. All right. Yes. All right. I'm We're gonna... getting him in the spirit here. I don't know about that, but getting I'll rid try. of the bah humbug from But fall. the weather is changing for it. it. It's kind of nice in the 40s in the morning. Yep. What do you think? That's cheers. it. Oh, cheers. Okay. You mean <laughs> I have to take another sip? All right. Mm hmm. It's fall. Tastes like pumpkin spice you and latte. You got your leaf and your pumpkin spice. That may have done it for me for the season. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, you found two leaves. I, I know every. Mm -hmm. you, I'm seeing little bits, but there's still a lot of green. Yes. I think that's going to be like overnight. One night we're going to hear thump, and we'll wake They're up in the morning, and all down. the leaves are on the ground. That's okay. I'd rather them stay in the trees anyway. Yeah. I'm not saying I want winter to come at all. I'm just saying you just need to get in the Good. Spirit. I'm glad to hear that. Yes. Because you and I would would have a tussle over that. <laughs> You know, no, 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 no. But look at that. It's is that, beautiful. Is that gorgeous? And this is one of the prettiest days. I mean, this is Missouri at its finest, right? It is. And, and you know, you have to, you know, when you're in like the 70s and it's sunshiny and just a little breeze going, mm -hmm. everybody says, oh, I wish it were like this all the time. Mm -hmm. And I've said before, if it were, we would have a population of about eight gazillion people oh, right that's here. True. Part of the charm of the Ozarks is <laughs> that you have some room, and I, I really like that. But and the seasons. I love all four seasons. I like variety. I get bored. You know? I'm, I'm, I, what is, is this, is this Jefferson City? Is it Washington, D.C.? <laughs> now, even There's our director trees. doesn't know, but it's, it's a, there you go. All the green. Nobody knows, but Nobody it's a pretty knows. picture. Yeah, downtown, downtown Springfield. Springfield. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I haven't been down there in a while. I guess. <laughs> uh, that that could be the capital. It, it also could be Little Rock because Little Rock's capital mm -hmm. is used in movies every now and then is it? in place of the, the U.S. capital. Little Rock's got some treasures down there. Whoa, oh yeah, some oh yeah. Great Arkansas running trails has treasures. And, well, yeah. I mean, it's it's a beautiful state. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now we have a great show for you today. Our dynamic duo, Will Worsham and Bruce Porter, are here. Plus, Kurt, the film guy, stopping by a bit later to give us the latest on the greatest. Yep, yep, yep. So before we get to all that, here's what's on the radar. All right. The problem is nothing new. You take sandwiches to work, put them in the fridge, then find someone has stolen <laughs> them when you go to have lunch. The solution is ingenious. Look. Anti-theft oh. lunch bags. No, no, no. They're designed with green splotches on both sides to make it look like <laughs> that sandwich has seen its better days weeks ago, putting the would-be thief off their feet and out of yours. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, the bags are sandwich size and have a Ziploc to, to make sure your meal doesn't really go bad while you're waiting to eat it. They price out at about 5 bucks for a pack of 20, and you can get them at uh, Perpetual Kid. Now, these are only to be used for good. <laughs> Don't go switching them out in your friends' lunches. That would not be funny. Except on uh, April Fool's Day, perhaps. Okay, it would be funny. Yeah. yeah. Any other any other day too. But That's nonetheless, disgusting. I think it's I think it's an excellent an excellent solution to an age old problem. It is. And if you think your anti-theft lunch bags are a good idea, this one is way better. So for eons, we women have had to deal with guys oogling over our legs everywhere we go. And I mean everywhere. Ow. Ow. It can be as innocent as a grocery store. Still, you guys are always staring. Well, here's the cure. Anti-pervert stockings. And I can't say that and get through it without laughing. <laughs> they should nip this problem in the bud with little effort. Take one look at them and they should stop any cat call or whistle dead in its track. 
Couple downsides though. They are a bit on the warm side, so not sure yeah. about them being a great summertime fashion. Plus, they will probably keep everyone away, including your friends. So you must weigh the advantages over the flaws before you step out wearing them on a night a night out on the town. Yeah, yeah. And get used to people calling you Chewbacca. Yeah. Those are just horrid. <laughs> yeah, they would they 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 would stop. Yeah. <laughs> if you had a poodle, the poodle would stop in its tracks. <laughs> right. <laughs> Take off. Those is, are it, is this a joke or is this a real product? I don't know. I I do not know, but it's it's effective. It actually would be a lot of fun to wear this for out. For some people, I guess. <laughs> Wow. All right, all right. I'm I'm not gonna I can't top that. You're right. Okay. That anti deal is, mm. is better than my sandwich yeah. deal. All right. Now, I would hazard a guess that the Instant Pot is probably one of the best selling kitchen appliances in years. I'd say you're right. Yeah. Now you think that'd be enough for those yeah. people. They'd rest on their laurels and enjoy all the dollars flowing into their bank accounts. Nope. They've been hard at work coming up with three new wonders for food prep. An insta instant toaster oven that, you know, not only makes toast, mm, obviously. it can bake a 12 inch pizza, make a cake, roast a whole chicken and lots more. Not enough? <laughs> okay, how about a nine in one six quart pressure cooker? Now that sounds the same as the original mm -hmm. Instant Pot, not so. This one has pre-programmed buttons for cake, egg, sous vide and sterilize which wow. is a good idea yeah. but wait there's more there's more tell a us a rice and grain cooker this baby can make up to eight cups of cooked rice and has four one touch buttons for cooking white rice brown rice quinoa and oatmeal mm. plus you can also use it to steam fish and veggies <laughs> mind blown that's like the end all. They just want to make the last kitchen gadgets you will ever need. Right? We're going to be able to get rid of the big stoves uh -huh. and, and, and stuff like that and just look how much more room you'll find in your kitchen. Yeah. I could, I, if, with those three things, I could make the world, you, I think. You really could. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. All right, good on that. Pretty cool. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, coming up, it's time to sit down with Mr. Will Worsham and Mr. Bruce Porter for today's discussion. Don't go away. Ozarks Live is just getting started.